With pride of place on the bound, and right across from the Lu Jiazui skyline sits the Shanghai Pudong Development Bank, one of the financial institutions that played a major role in the rapid expansion of the Pudong New Area. The bank was opened in 1993, three years after the central government announced its plans for Pudong's development. In a far cry from its current grand setting, Shanghai Pudong Development Bank started small, with two branches in the Shanghai Petroleum Exchange and Wai Gaochao bounded the warehouse loan. There weren't all that many banks around at the time. We set up our first branches with two iconic industries and areas, which made our financial pattern very clear. Most of the banks in the market at that time were state-owned banks, just a few foreign firms like HSBC and the Standard Chartered. By calling itself the Shanghai Pudong Development Bank, it could not have its mission more clear. Over the past three decades, the bank has issued loans to most major projects in the area, including the construction of Pudong International Airport, the building of China's first modern commercial aircraft, the C-919, and many others including the Shanghai Tower, the Disney Resort, and the Tesla's auto factory in Lingang. And of course, the bank is now looking at a more international business as well. We have served more than 4,000 clients with a highly efficient integrated free trade account service of domestic and foreign currency, and have set up more than 260 cross-border cash pools. We also served nearly 200 clients with convenient services to facilitate their foreign trade. The finance industry has been very crucial to Pudong's development over the past decades while domestic financial institutions were in first. Foreign companies are now playing a bigger and a bigger role. One of the first batch of foreign banks to arrive in Pudong was Standard Chartered, which can trace its history in China back to 1858. After being associated with the country for more than a century, in 2007, Standard Chartered finally obtained its license to run renminbi personal banking operations here. That was the same year the bank moved its China headquarters to Lu Jiazui. More and more uh, domestic and foreign financial uh, organizations have established their presence in Lu Jiazui recently. It also shows that despite the challenge in the current international environment, our country stays committed to depending the reform uh, and wide opening up. Taking advantage of its Pudong operations, Standard Chartered is now applying for a brokerage license in China, drawing other foreign financial players' entry into China's securities market. Uh, Standard Chartered Bank is also honored to be involved in a number of uh, landmark projects, including becoming the, the first foreign financial institution to obtain the license for uh, security fund custody. Uh, and becoming the first batch of international banks to do LPR quotation. Of course, the Shanghai Pudong Development Bank and Standard Chartered are just two finance firms closely associated with Pudong's development. Despite the impact of COVID-19, Pudong in the first half of the year attracted investments worth around $800 million from finance industry, double the figure from the same period last year. Nearly 300,000 people now work for financial firms here, and they're still hiring. Chen Tong ICS for CGTN, Shanghai.